All right, so now we're over in the Keyence Vision software and basically want to run through the different tools that we have and kind of how we have them set up. So you can see we have everything, all your tools here organized from left hook and right hook. Uh, all the tools within them are basically the same tools and we're utilizing the tools in the same manner, which makes sense because the hooks are the same. This is also a list of all the different tools and the tool IDs uh, which is this T number right here, tool IDs that are associated within this left hook group. So I can right click over here and then you'll see the right hook group. And also another thing that you'll see is that the uh, display is changing according to like these different tools that are, that are here within the software. So going back over to here, the tools are the same, just the tools that are being displayed right now are, are different. So this is a combination of uh, I want to say all these different tools you see here on the side. So to click into that and to break down what the tools are and what they do, I probably just do them for the, like the left hand side since the right hand side is the same. But they both have what we're, we're calling a master tool. So this master tool is doing the initial identification. So this tool needs to be working appropriately for any of the rest of the tools to be working because this does an initial identification that then locates where the part's at so that way we can perform all the other tests accurately. So going inside this master tool, uh, this is the search region of the camera and this is the area we're looking to be a match. Now the data that we're utilizing for this particular tool is the angle data. So we're using this for the bent hook test. And then that's the only data that we're actually utilizing from this tool to do a pass fail. We are then using the robot XZ data, X and Z data to pass the offset values to the robot. And so we're using this X and Y. So X is X of the robot and then Y is the Z of the robot. So we're utilizing this tool to then identify these individual lines here, where you can see we're identifying these lines, and then we're saying to the intersection of those lines is where we're creating our, let's say, offset point for the robot to move to. So that, that's basically our uh, X and Z to the robot. Then I have the robot Y here. So the robot Y is essentially detecting how far away the robot is to and from the hook and so all these different tools need to be utilized because the tool just doesn't offer the data points that are that are needed to perform each operation now i'll go over here to this twisted one so pretty self-explanatory these have all been named fairly uh identically with what the actual process is so this will detect if the hook is twisted and then we're also testing if the hook is bent front to back in another tool before i move to that one i want to just say we're utilizing this angle from horizontal as our data point for how much angle is in this part. So right now we're getting a 2.5 degrees. Now this 2.5 degrees has been zeroed out in the PLC to then, this is a good part. So this is actually giving us a zero degree angle through our master data because this is what a good hook looks like. Now I'll take you over to the bent front to back. So again, the reason why we have uh, the one tool that's, that's doing bent left to right in that master tool is because it can detect the rotation in this 2D flat plane. However, this is a front to back type of motion. So we have to detect degree angle in a different way. Uh, as you can see, this degree angle is just automatically coming in from the camera as, as pretty much a zero. Just not all things work out like that. Like if we go look at the XYZ intersection, you'll see that this is X65, Y16. And then if I, actually, if I go over to the right hand hook, the right hook, and I go to that exact same tool, you'll see the values are completely different. And this is another reason why the, the, the data has to be zeroed. So this data is coming in as a 153 in X and also coming in as a 19, uh, is coming in as a 19 in Y. And that's because Y is the Z direction. So up and down, they're fairly similar to the same height, but left to right, they're, very, they're in two completely different places within the visions, let's say field of view or, or coordinate system. So that's pretty much the rundown of all the different tools that we're utilizing within the system. Obviously we didn't go deep into like what each tool is doing specifically and how it operates, but that gives you an idea of each individual tool that we are using and, and a little bit of how it's working and where we're getting our data from.